everyone welcome back to get sessions today we are going to use date time actions in power automate desktop whether you are automating file management scheduling task or calculating time intervals understanding how to work with dates and time is essential in this video we will explore several date time actions and show you how to manipulate date and times in your flows power automate desktop provides a variety of date time actions these actions include getting the current date time adding or subtracting time and comparing them we'll walk through how to use each of these actions step by step first let's start by getting the current date and time so here we go i have created this flow and in the action pane i will search for date space time and we can see a list of actions under this date time group current date and time action is perfect for getting the current date and time so let's drag and drop it into our flow once added it outputs the current date and time in a default format for example in my system the date is in this format date date hyphen month month hyphen year 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 why 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 and we have time in the 24 hours format so when we go to this window and in retrieve we select current date and time we can also select current date only if we select this then we will get time as 0000 and in the time zone we need to select the time zone for which you want to get the current date for example i want to get the current time and date of the time zone which is configured in my system okay and it will produce one variable which is current date time so let me click on save and run the flow and as soon as we run the flow we can see date and time in this variable let me double click on it and we can see this it is 20th of november 2024 and time is 1 42 pm and here you can see the same format which we have in our task manager in our taskbar okay so let me uh, open this again and if you want to get a specific time zone you can select this option and here you can select the country or region you will get this list you can select any country and, and the reason of that country and click on save and run the flow you will get the time of the london europe this 8 13 am similarly if you want to get the time zone of another country you can use this action but as you can see the option specific time zone in the time zone property will be deprecated and become unavailable for use in the get current date time action so if this action is deleted or it can't be used again and you will need to update your flows using one of the other available option provided for this property so uh, this property is going to be deprecated so don't use this avoid uh, using this in your flows you can use this next property which is windows time zone when we select this we can get all the time zones you can select the time zone as per your requirements for example i need time of a uh, part I will select this UTC plus 8 and let me run the flow. Okay, so we are getting this time. So now, now let's move to the next uh, property of time zone, which is custom input. In custom input, you can select the input type offset or Windows time zone. If you want to give offset in offset, you can 
give a numeric value for example 5 6 something any numeric value and click on save see it has given the time zone of UTC plus 5 and uh, whatever you value whatever value you will give here it will add that value in the tank uh, UTC it, I gave 5 so it, it uh, gave time of UTC plus 5 if I gave uh, minus 5 then it will give the time zone of UTC minus 5 and here you can see the time earlier it was UTC plus 5 now it is UTC minus 5 means 10 hours ago 10 hours before so we are get we are getting 3 earlier we were getting 13 ok so you can give the offset and similarly if you want to get current date you can select this and from the custom option you can select custom input window time zone whatever in simple words if I say you can get the time of any uh, you can get the time for any time zone just select uh, this windows time zone and select the time uh, uh, select the time zone whichever you want because generally we use uh, this type of format like UTC plus 5 UTC plus this that so this is the simple option or better option to use you can see the country name also reason name country name and their time zone okay so let me get the system time zone try we click on save now let's move to the next section add to date type sometimes you need to manipulate date and times for example you might want to add days or add hours so you can use this action add date type even you can use this action to subtract the date time also but even you can use this action to subtract the days or minutes or hours from the date time let me show you so first of all we need to give the date time from which we want to subtract or uh, add the time for example we have this current date time i will select this variable and here you can see the current time is 148 and i want to add 12 minutes in this so I will select the time unit as minutes you can select any time units as per your requirement for example if you want to add months you can select months but I want to add minutes so I will select minutes and how many minutes I want to add I want to add 12 minutes I will click on save and uh, this will give uh, one more this will produce one more variable this action will produce one more variable uh, resulted date okay let me click on save and run the flow so first we will get the current date time in line number one and in line number two we will get the we will add the 12 in the current date time so here we go we are getting 20 11 20, and the time is 000 so it has added 12 in the time because in our date current date and time we have selected this current date only so it is not giving the time and it is giving the default time which is uh, 000 so if we select current date and time then it will give the time also and if we go to this add action again and if i give minus 12 and in time unit i have selected the minutes and i will click on save let me run the flow again now this time it will subtract the 12 minutes from the current time you can see the current time was 149 and the uh, after adding uh, minus 12 minutes it has subtracted 12 minutes from the current time now it became now it become 147 137 so this is how we can subtract any time unit from the current time or any other time and means if you have any other date time variable you can select that here also and you can subtract or add date you can subtract or add days hours minutes seconds months years from that okay now let's go to the next action which is 
let me disable this action and we will use the next action which is subtract date now we have two date time variables one is result date and another one is current date so i want to calculate the difference between result date and current date for example i have in from date i will give the result date and in the subtract date i will give the current date and time so in this as we know we are adding 12 in this so the difference will be 12 minutes but i want i will uh, uh i in this uh, get difference in days minutes and whatever i want to select i will select the time unit i will select the minutes and we will get one variable time difference so now we know that difference is 12 minutes minus 12 so in this time difference we should get 12 let me run the flow And here we go we are getting minus 12 because the difference was difference between uh, result date and current date time was minus 12 minutes okay similarly if we increase or decrease the minutes or if we change the things here it will give the same for example if i had one year if i had uh, one year in the current date and time and uh, in subtract dates I want to get the result in the days. Okay, so one year which is equal to 365 days. So let me run the flow. And we are getting 365 days because the difference was one year. You can see the dates. It is 20th of November 2025 and the current date time is 20th of November 2024. So this is how we can calculate the differences between two dates and date times also. and uh, if you have any text value which contains a date time you can convert that text to the date time using this action they convert text to date time similarly you can do the date time to text conversion as well so here we need to give the text for example uh, let me create one variable first then we will give that for for creating a variable i will use the set variable action and here i will give date time 1st of january 2024 and the time is 111 okay let me click on save and it will produce it will produce a variable which is new where okay so now i will use that action date time conversion convert text to date time text to convert i will select that newware and date is represented in custom format so if you want to give the format of the date time you can uh, turn this on and custom format the format was date date month month year 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 rr minute minute and second 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 uh, for month we will give capital m because small m we are using for minutes okay let me click on save and it will produce this text as date time variable let me click run flow okay here we can see we are getting this date time in the new where and after conversion we are getting this in this our uh, text as date time variable now we can use this text as date time variable in our date time actions so we have these three actions we can use this variable in these actions so this is all about date and times in uh, power automate desktop now you have a better understanding of how to use date time actions in power automate desktop whether you are uh, calculating difference or adding subtracting time these actions are powerful tools for automating time sensitive task and as we have applied formatting on the time you can uh, use this you can uh, create a blah, blah, blah. thank you for watching if you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell icon for more power automate tips and tutorials Happy.
happy automation guys happy automating